forgot to vlog time lapse what are you gonna call it my drawing projects whoops and I had a lot of them um so sorry about that <laughs> but yeah I forgot to do that I did six sketchbook drawings of leaves I did one still life drawing of those six leaves yesterday I also forgot to film me doing my photography homework oops um, so that is it. I'm having my cardboard is still on the ground. Haven't done anything with that. So I'll see you tomorrow.
Hi, okay, so it's literally been like two or like five minutes since I've came into my dorm room from my mother's and from giving my grandfather a tour around campus and I'm putting stuff away and I'm putting back a sweatshirt away that's the white one, I don't know, it's a white sweatshirt, um, pretty much all you know, and I put it on my chair and one of the sleeves flung around, hit my green egg and now it's smashed all over the floor. Um, I've been waiting to vacuum and I guess right now is a fabulous time since there's dirt all over my floor and now glass all over my floor. So you know what? Well, not glass, it's more of like a ceramic. Let me just show you. Yes, that is still on the floor. Look at this beautiful mess we have right here. Oh, wonderful. Yep. Guess I figured out how to open it. Now she only has a pot of dirt and a cactus, but great. Just great. Also, my day went really bad today. BTS went live on their um, Map of the Soul 1 tour. Not really a tour, it's a concert. Guess who missed it? Guess who literally missed it? I literally woke up crying. No, I didn't woke up crying. I literally, the four hours I went to sleep last night, in those four hours, I missed a BTS concert. I am so angry. I would have been able to watch it anyway because I had to wake up early because my grandfather was coming and whatever, and we had to do that today. I am so angry because I was going to buy tickets for both of the days of the concert because I wasn't sure if it was just one day or if it was two days um, for like, if it was different things or it was both the same thing. I don't know. I missed it. And I'm going to miss the second one because I don't have enough time to buy the ticket. I do have enough time to buy a ticket, but I don't know how to buy the ticket. I was supposed to do it with my mother. That didn't go as planned. Um, so yeah, and then I woke, so I woke up, went on Instagram. Well, last night before I went to bed, I saw like a lot of my BTS fan accounts were like three more hours until the concert or something like that. And it was like two or one, I don't really know. Um, and I was like, no way, there's no way. And then it was that way and I woke up, went on Instagram, I was like, oh my god, I missed it and like burst, burst it out into tears. It's like, oh my god, I missed a BTS concert. Literally cried for like 30 minutes um, having a mental breakdown that I missed a BTS concert because like it's a big deal, you know, and it was supposed to be 10 times better than any concert. It was be amazing and I completely missed it. That is such a Lindsay thing, by the way, if you don't know how I am, I miss the most important things. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. This is how I felt when I couldn't go to the first ever stadium tour in New York. And I just felt like, you know, I missed an important part in their lives. Here we go again. <laughs>
this is even. If it's not, oh well. filter here it still looks uneven but I'm just gonna keep it the way it is because I don't really care and I'm gonna be the only one seeing it anyway yeah so it's I try to keep it in line with Jim in there yeah why does it look like it's like it should be like that I don't know maybe it's cuz I don't know Okay, so originally I was not going to talk about this, but I feel like I should document this. Um, so when I was on the phone with my mother, hold on, let me put this up. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Okay, that looks better. My, I was about to take a nap and the orange light, it did not look good. So I was on the phone with my mother and I heard a sound coming from the hallway, like where the bathroom in the shower is, or even outside in the actual like dorm hallways i couldn't tell which it came from and by the way my door is open so like i was like staring right like i can see right to the door itself to go to the outside so i thought maybe katie was coming in because uh she's not here yet but i heard the sound and it was extremely creepy um it was the sound of like bells like christmas bells like you like reindeer bells like going if you can imagine the sound of a bell like it was not like a harsh bell it was like a christmas bell sounding and it sounded like something just standing shaking it shaking it and i was like it could be keys that wouldn't make sense because if someone was in the hallway and they just walked past then you would have heard it like for a split second this went on for like a minute or two minutes straight it could have been less than that i might be exaggerating i'm not i don't know um, but yeah, I was just like staring at the hallway, like, is something gonna pop up? Is something gonna show itself? And like, you could just hear, ching, 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 just imagine Christmas bells. That's, that's the best way I could describe it to you, was Christmas bells. Um, absolutely terrifying. Um, Christmas, I don't like Christmas. Christmas, I really, it's my least favorite holiday. Well, one of them. Easter is probably my least favorite holiday, just because I hate the Easter Bunny. Same thing with Santa. Not a big fan of Santa either. But, um, yeah, that was terrifying. Like, uh, randomly hearing Christmas bells in your dorm room? Um, also, update on the BTS live thing. I missed it again last night. I purposely, okay, I didn't miss it. I purposely didn't watch it because I'm like, I already missed the first one. <sighs> you know? I hear it again. Oh, it is terrifying. It is terrifying. It's not as loud this time because I have my fan on. I'm like extremely creeped out. Like, Okay, I don't hear it anymore. My ears also might be playing tricks on me. Oh, <laughs> this is what happens when you are in a haunted college. Um, you know what also might be? I don't want to think about it though. I said, but I just want to shut that door. Um, it could also be the rings on top of the shower curtain like to clamp it around the metal bar 
try and see if I can hear it again. I don't think I can. It's very hard to hear it this time, like I said, because my fan's running right next. I was about to take a nap. I think my ears are just playing tricks on me at this point. Yay! Great, great. Got a shower ghost. Um, fabulous. It is a lot darker than what you can see, but like as you can see, I can look straight down the corridor from what I'm seeing. And like the shower is like over here, and like right there is the bathroom. Absolutely terrifying. Mmm. Yeah, it's a lot darker than what you guys are seeing. Like it's like a big shadowy area over there. So that's fun. <laughs> to like pretty much every single person only some people might understand um or just do the same thing i do it is currently 10 26 and i'm just now having dinner that is like most nights um for college unless i actually have to go like on the weekdays i get dinner but like on the weekends i just don't i ever get to eat like does anybody else have that problem like I think it also has to do with the fact that I'm lazy and I don't want to go and make myself food or, you know, wash the certain dishes that I need to make the food or whatever. Like, I literally have leftovers in the fridge right now from yesterday's dinner. And I still, like, I want a big potato. But, like, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Does anybody else have this problem? Like, I have this problem a lot. But I also am a grazer, so I snack throughout the day. I'm like a little sheep or a ram. Haha, ha, Shepherd. Um, but yeah, that's how I've always been. I can't just eat big meals and then just not eat at all throughout the day. Like I, I can't do that. Like for breakfast, I don't eat. I hate breakfast food. And if I wake up, I can't just immediately eat breakfast. I need to wait like an hour or two to actually eat something without feeling sick or nauseous. Um, so like, anybody else have this problem? I'm gonna